Jang Kun Suk used to be the biggest Hallyu star and was called Prince of Asia. However, with a new generation, he is not that well known. He recently held a fan signing event to celebrate reaching 100,000 YouTube subscribers, however, only 7 people showed up. He has been in the industry since he was 5 years old and, of course, he deserves more attention. Here is the story of Jang Kun Suk. Jang Kun Suk was born on August 4, 1987, in a middle class family. He is the only child of his parents. His family witnessed a terrible financial low when Jang was very young and they had to resettle after selling their house. The property agent who was looking after their house issue noticed the young and handsome Jang. Impressed by his looks at such a tender age, he advised Jang's parents to explore opportunities for the child in the modeling world. Soon he became a child model at the age of five. While in middle school, Jang was greatly inspired by the Japanese pop singer Ken Hirai and the Japanese rock band Larkin Seal. So much so that he instantly decided to pursue his career as a singer and joined a music class from the very next day. Not just that, he started learning the Japanese language all by himself. For junior high school, Jang went to New Zealand to Nelson College to learn both Japanese and English in the year 2003. Having gained full command over these two languages, he came back to his homeland and got himself trained at Hanyang University in theater and films. There he learned about the various skill sets related to acting, fighting as well as dancing. Although Jang became a popular model, after some point he felt trapped in that domain, thinking that his career had attained saturation. Around this time, he made his acting debut in a television sitcom named Selling Happiness in 1997. While staying in New Zealand, Jang got an offer to act in a popular NBC sitcom named Nonstop 4. The success and popularity of the previous three seasons was an extra burden on Jang to perform this challenging role convincingly. However, he sold himself into believing that he was a terrible actor and his trust in himself went down the drain. Thereafter, he devoted himself to becoming a better actor. In 2005, Jang was seen portraying the role of the president's son in the SBS drama called Lovers in Prague. It became an instant hit and received a good response from drama lovers. Jang took a great leap in 2006 and made his big screen debut. He worked in a Japanese horror film named One Missed Call Final. As he was fluent in Japanese, he could communicate with his co-stars with ease. He also took up sign language classes for three months to play the role of a deaf boy in the movie. His performance in the historical drama Huang Genie on KBS2 gave him a notable female fan following. In 2007, he was seen in a rock music-themed movie called The Happy Life. His portrayal of Haiyanju gave him the scope to explore his masculine charms and showcase his talent as a singer. In 2009, Jang appeared in the role of a villain in the thriller The Case of Itiwan Homicide. The film was based on a true incident about a murder that happened at the Burger King restaurant in Itiwan, South Korea. If you are into Korean crime you have probably have heard of that case. Jang gained more recognition after starring in Your Beautiful in 2009, playing the leader of the fictional K-pop band A.N.Gel, who falls in love with a fellow band member who is a girl pretending to be her twin brother. The series gained a cult following and earned high ratings in Japan. Jang then worked with TV director Yoon Suk Ho on the melodrama series Love Rain, in which he and co-star Yoon Na played dual roles in the 1970s and 2012. The drama garnered a lot of positive overseas interest and was sold in Japan for $10 million, the second highest price for a KBS drama at the time, partly due to Jang's popularity. In 2013, Jang starred in another series adapted from a manhwa, Pretty Man Opposite IU. Apart from his very successful acting and modeling career, Jang has made a name for himself in the music industry as well. Music and acting have gone side by side for the talented youngster and over the years he has released many singles and also a number of albums. He debuted with Let Me Cry on April 27, 2011. He has quite a huge discography. Jang filmed the reality show Three Meals a Day, 
Fishing Village with Cha Sung Won and Yu Hei Jin, which was supposed to air in January 2015. However, due to a refuted tax evasion controversy in which a fine was paid of 10 billion Korean wands for his agency underreporting taxes, it led to him dropping out of the program. He had previously been involved in similar rumors in October 2014, though the rumor was denied. Jang was eventually found not guilty of tax evasion as his agency had made an unintentional accounting mistake, but made a decision to leave the program and his scenes were edited out. He went on a hiatus in Korea after that, and focused largely on overseas activities. After his hiatus, he announced that he will be selecting an aggressive range of movies and TV series to work on in 2016. He also expressed his desire to be recognized as an actor in Korea again, saying that you may be a Hallyu star, but without a domestic base, it can feel empty. Jang made a successful comeback in 2016 with NET's music survival show Produce 101, where 101 trainee girls competed against each other for their debut. He acted as the host and mentor of the show, making significant contributions toward introducing the program to viewers and making the program more suspenseful. Jang then starred in the historical drama The Royal Gambler, where he played a gambler who takes on the king. Though it had lower viewership ratings, the series marked a turning point in Jang's career and allowed him to overcome his fixed image as a pretty boy and expand his acting roles. Then he starred in Human, Space, Time and Human and Switch, Changed the World. Since then he hasn't acted much. Only this year he appeared in a web series called Decoy, however, nothing more. He said in the interview. Through this project, I wanted to break free from the usual appearance I've shown thus far. He enlisted into the military in 2018 and completed his military service on May 29, 2020. But in those three years since he came back, he has only done one series. Seems his main focus is now his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is actually quite interesting, he flashes off his luxurious life, plenty of food videos, and he did a video together with Heechul. Which is entertaining as both crazy people in one room. Also, he went to a matchmaking agency to find his wife. And as well, the last video he uploaded of his fan sign event where only seven people showed up. It just makes me sad, he worked in the industry for so long. Of course, he hadn't been that active in the past years and the weather was horrible that day, but still only seven people came there. Would you have went there? And do you have any more ideas about why his popularity has decreased or do you think he is still popular and it was just a bad day? Leave in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming K-drama, K-pop content. Thanks for tuning in.